let's start with the front. The front of that car is a, is a very special um, area of the car because it's the face of the car. This is the identity of the car. So it's special because of its proportion. It's very low, very wide looking, although it's not wider than a Polo. Um, but special is the height of it. Kind of the, the front light and the complete front area is extremely close to the ground, um, which makes it look really sporty, very dynamic. Um, there's a very certain light graphic in here, a very specific graphic, which will make the car iconic and recognizable, very easily recognizable also during the day because this LED is illuminated as a daylight signature. Also this horizontal approach is something we, we see in, in, in all of our Volkswagen vehicles. Um, when you, when you see the car then in, in different perspectives, you realize it has different characters. In some perspective, it looks very almost angry or very confident, very self-confident. In other perspective, it has a little smile. Um, that's due to its very strong three-dimensional um, plan shape and section. Sharks are, by the way, the most efficient shape and sharks were indeed one of the influences we took for that vehicle in terms of shape and aesthetics. Um, then also the, another special thing about the door is the electric wing mirror, the electric mirror. It's a camera system, um, the side indicators integrated in it, um, aerodynamically perfectly layouted. Um, we have in the interior, later on we see that, we have a display where we see the image of the camera. All this arrangement helps us to reduce the drag coefficient and to save fuel, to be even more efficient. The car has a very monolithic look, a very monolithic and streamlined look. Um, and then there are these very defined edges, creases and shot lines, the graphics. And they're all there for, for a specific reason. Like we have an unusual door shut line here, which is going from the sill very far forward. And the door is actually opening into the roof. This is because otherwise we would have trouble to get in and out of the car. The car is so low that only with this kind of shut line configuration, we can manage to get in and out easy and quick. The door handle is also totally flush integrated in the bodywork, as you could see. And then the door opens and gives us plenty of room to get into the car. So getting into the car and out of the car is very easy, although it's so low. You see the interior is extremely clean and reduced, very modern. Um, reduced to the necessary elements so that you can really focus on driving. Um, everything is ergonomically there where it should be. There are no negative surprises whatsoever. It, it's a very spacious interior because things like the air condition um, components are under the front bonnet. So it's a very light look, but also indeed it is of course very light due to the materials we are using of carbon fiber for example on the seats. Um, one seat is 10 kilo in weight. A normal seat in a normal car is uh, double, it's 20 kilo. And the steering wheel is, um, is a very small, very compact, very sporty steering wheel. Um, and we, we have no um, steering assistance. But because the car is so light and the front wheels are so slim and, and light, you, do, you don't need it at all. A very special feature, of course, is our e-mirror, our electric mirror. As we saw on the outside, we don't have a conventional mirror, we have cameras. So we see here in the door, we see an image of a mirror. We see the image of the camera, which is um, due, its, due to its um, lens and also to, due to its calculation of the image, shows us a very wide image um, without any blind spot. It's in a perfect position ergonomically, the second one is, is in the opposite side. Um, it, it takes just a minute to get used to it and then actually you, you admire it and you, you feel that it's um, a very, very trustable, very good image of your surroundings. We reduced weight everywhere. We were talking about the windows being out of polycarbonate and being extra thin. We also 
dropping the small window, we, we do it by hand. Um, we, we don't have an electric engine, we don't have cables, um, so that saves, again, weight. And uh, we think it's, it's not necessary at all to use an electric uh, motor to get this window down.